What's going on, man? How are you? Ah, real good. Pretty. I mean, it's just been a whirlwind, a few weeks, and everything. Uh, how about you? I don't know if I mentioned to you. Did I mention my wife last time? What was mm. going on? Oh yeah, dude. She had like this. I think it was right when we had our session. Uh, she had had the surgery on her parathyroid, and the surgeon during the surgery paralyzed her vocal cord. She couldn't talk for like, I don't know, man, like seven weeks. You know, they kept saying, oh, you know, give it a couple weeks. And then it was like, give it a month. And then like, give it like three months. And after like six weeks, it's like, dude, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, man, in like, I don't know, about 10 days, it went from not being able to talk to completely back to normal. So good. that's over. So yeah, I'm doing good, man. That was That was kind of like a really weird time, though. That was... You know, I bet. But um, <laughs> yeah, other than that, dude, it's all good. All good. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit are, you free, are you feeling these frequencies in your hands? Uh, I I think I do. It's you know, for me, it's more up here. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. You said that, yeah, and um. But yes, it's become more, more pronounced. Good. Uh, and I, you know, I also have other things that I, that I feel that I don't know if it's related. It feels kind of related. Uh, like some, some mornings I'll wake up and I'll just be laying in the bed and it feels like an earthquake mm -hmm. is going on like a little tremoring earthquake tremoring, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. in me it's not outside me and it's and i'll just lay there and feel it and um you know i'll say to my i've said to my wife like can you can you feel that <laughs> uh, <Yeah. clears throat> but it's uh, it, it, so it's like this my body's vibrating yeah. you know yeah. and and it's uh it doesn't feel unpleasant it doesn't feel um it feels like something's happening mm -hmm. and i'll also have you know i told you about my my plant medicine uh, yeah you were getting ready to go on a big journey right after our quantum calibration yeah so i've done uh i think a few since we since we talked last and oh my gosh they're so uh intense as well but it's like this um it 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 it's like these negative uh suffering energies come to me mm -hmm. it feels like for healing like they're waiting for someone to witness uh you know because that's all i do is i just i've learned to just just witness mm -hmm. be uh without fear or without judgment beautiful whatever yeah. it is and a lot of times it's grief, you know, a lot of grief, but also it's just, a, it's some evil stuff, you know, like mm -hmm. gnarly evil stuff. But it's like, if I, my assumption is if it's coming to me, it's seeking to be healed, yeah. you know, like, what if it's other I'm aspects of you, like other aspects of like your oversoul, you know what I mean? Because we all have lives going on right now right. we would be disgusted by them like we would be absolutely appalled by what other aspects of us are doing you know what i mean and they are appalled by us you know i mean they oh, oh look God. at you healing you little word you know <laughs> you know they're like in the civil war cutting off people's heads and shit and like we're like right. trying to heal and be all one and they're probably just as disgusted by us as we are of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious to think about. Yeah, that is so interesting. I bet you're right. I bet you're right. As we go through this shift and we discover more and more of our multidimensionality, which is other lives going on right now, you know, like we're multidimensional beings. We got way more going on uh -huh. in this life. As we become more aware of that, and as the veil thins, 
you know, like it's, I feel like it's our job in this life to heal. And as we heal, it spreads out to the other aspects of our multidimensionality. And we we're, we're healing the past, the future. I think that's why it's so intense right now is because as we, as we shift and we, and we, the veil between us and our other lives gets thinner. We're just, you know, we're so used to being locked into one life that when, when we start opening ourselves up to these other energies, um, at least that's what I was thinking when you were saying that you, they, they, you feel like these, they're coming to you. Yeah. To be healed or something like that. Is that what you said? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Because I used to get, you know, scared by it. Like it would, you know, I'd see something terrifying or gnarly and I'd be like, this isn't what I want, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> or just be, you know, like, don't let it get me kind of thing. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I learned to just surrender to the experience and be present, drop the fear because it's all coming from me. Right. So totally, what, totally. <clears throat> you know, there really is nothing to fear and, and that it's only coming to me if it's something that is out there needing healing. And, uh, cause that's just how it feels. Um, you know, it's not just like a, affirmation or something it's I like think you're that, spot on dude yeah how it feels and it feels like when they come to me and come through me because i'll get things like you know children that were horribly abused or mothers that lost their children or um slaves and you know yes. uh, I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's a lot of crazy stuff and even even uh non-human uh one i had like this this uh um devilish looking you know giant monster that would had children like by the arms and legs and he was just dragging them and you know yeah. he clearly had this whole whole village of kill children he'd been ab abusing and he, he, was, he was like marching right right to me and i was like really you know okay <laughs> yeah 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 and he like even he he wanted he like he was ready you know yeah to, yes for healing wow that's and then beautiful, man. so he like and you know he like marches right up and through me and i feel all this suffering but i'm not it doesn't make me depressed you're, you're witnessing it you're, yeah yeah i'm you're... just witnessing it i'm aware of what's going on i'm you know I have the, uh, some of them, I was having like tremors in my body felt like, you know, trauma kind of, uh, working its way out and a lot of that, but, but it would, it was like, uh, I was metabolizing it. It was like, I'm, uh, able for whatever reason to metabolize these energies. And it yeah. feels like work, you know, like, it feels good. Like I'm doing something good, um, and necessary and I'm not asking to do it. You know, it's just like what's happening. <clears throat> and, um, and it's crazy. I mean, I've had yeah. several of these now where, um, and then some journeys I have are like just gift after gift of, you know, healing for me and like insights and all that beautiful stuff. And then some are just like this, like I'm talking yeah. about just a lot of yeah. hardness, a lot of, but I'm, I'm left, you know, afterwards I was like, I feel like I've had a good workout, you know, I'm exhausted, <laughs> but, but it's not a bad feeling, right? Yeah. It's not like I'm blue or depressed or anything. And, um, you know, and I'm trying to catch myself, like, is this my ego wanting to be because you know i mean there's a part of me that wants to be useful no no to know that my life matters and you know i'm i'm contributing in some way so i'm trying to be mindful of you know what is what of this could my ego be making up or yeah yeah, yeah yeah totally totally <clears throat> um for some sort of recognition or validation you know 
but um so i don't know uh, but that whole notion of that could be you know other pieces of me and my oversoul is 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 interesting i've always thought that you know not always but since i've been doing you know <laughs> the last couple of years i've been thinking yeah. that like we've been everybody you, you know like i've been you, you totally, you've been me totally I've, totally been, I've been hitler you know because we're all connected Absolutely. every <clears throat> every being that's ever existed we we are connected to in some way and have access to that and uh and that our job here is not to, you know, s sever ourselves or omit part of humanity or condemn or, yeah. you know, but it, but it's to actually expand to be able to hold and contain and accept all of it. Right. And totally um, dude. Totally. <laughs> like that's how the healing actually uh, occurs. Cause as long as we, fight against it and condemn each other or we're, yeah how other people are living then we're just we're just tightening the rope on the whole absolutely 100 percent. <laughs> and your story there on on what you've been experiencing with the plant medicine dude that just kind of reconfirms to me my my beliefs on you know this shift and how we're becoming we're awakening to our multi-dimensionality and um yeah. And and just the fact that you realize that there's nothing to fear and then you're kind of witnessing it and you, you feel that they're coming to you for healing just only confirm reconfirms everything I believe on how important it is right now to, uh, to heal ourselves. Yeah. It just the rippling effect of that um, is way beyond our ability to comprehend. <clears throat> And that these things, and that things such as, you know, profound grief and suffering can be healed. Like it, yeah. it, it's, uh, I mean, that notion in a, of itself was uh, huge for me when I got it for myself. Cause I had, I think I carried so much grief stuck in me for my whole life, you know, and it wasn't until that got unlocked and, <clears throat> felt and you know i got the sh the shame and the guilt and the regret out of the way like those things keep keep uh keep it stuck you know it's <clears throat> but grief and sorrow and joy and all those things are like pure emotions that we're supposed to feel and anger too you know but but then we have all these self judgments about them that you know that they're totally. on you know, that, that they hurt that we're never going to recover if we really feel them fully or yeah. or um but the opposite is true you know once you finally can feel it and it doesn't ever go away per totally you know grief and sorrow like it's always there but it's in a whole new context whole new context yeah <laughs> that's absolutely. beautiful and it is more about love than it is about suffering and yeah you know I got a question for yeah. you. When yeah. you see someone and like something <clears throat> physically, like, okay, I, I'll give you an example. So my kid had on, um, had the TV on, they had on like AFV, America's Funniest Videos. And one of those, it was like this little segment where it was people that were getting hurt like a skateboard, you know, jumping off staircases and missing and you know what I mean? And so, yeah. As I'm watching that, every time it happens, I get this weird feeling like in my like gut area of like, like, ooh, ooh, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, oh God, I hate that feeling. And then my kid was like, you mean that feeling in your gut? Like it's happening to you? And I go, I go, yeah, 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 yeah. And then my daughter yeah. was like, yeah, yeah, I get that. And I go to my other daughter, I'm like, do you get that? And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So immediately I'm thinking, everybody gets that and then later that night me and my me and my son we have this when when everybody goes to bed me and my son we watch something stupid together like last night we were watching master chef and uh -huh. it's like they take like a hundred everyday you know cooks 
and they want to be the master chef. And so they're kind of like, they're making their favorite meal for the three judges. And I'll start crying like four or five times during master chef because <laughs> I'm not even kidding <laughs> yeah. because I'm so happy. I can feel their, their joy when mm -hmm. they actually get the apron to move on to the next level. And like my son was like almost making fun of me because you can truly feel other people's happiness and their joy. And I'm like, is everybody like this? Because to me, that shows me how connected we are. Like if you can't feel other people's happiness, dude, you're screwed. You really need to be able to. And, and I, I just yeah. wonder... I just wonder, it like, is this, is everybody like this? Is this like <clears throat> old souls? Is this like the volunteer? You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I, I, you know, I, and I wonder, do you actually, do you feel like other people's pain when you see like something happen to them? Or like, I don't know if I'm just weird or I don't, I I don't do. know what. I do. I'm absolutely that way, but I don't think everybody is. Uh, and I think probably everybody is, but, 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 but they just have a lot of, you know, too many walls defense. up to, yeah, yeah. Too many defenses. Too many yeah. and, but, um, I totally am like that all. I, and I have an, I have a, uh, yeah, I kind of, you know, get emotional easily, uh, at things, weddings and, you know, yeah, 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 uh, totally. and, um, but yeah, and isn't it beautiful when you can feel someone else's joy and have? Because then it's like yours sure. too. Yeah, you know, it's like it didn't. It didn't have to happen to me. It, I'm just happy they got it. On a wave, I'm good to be that. Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. Never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime. You know I wanna share it with you. Pace is going. Boom.